I'm in VirtualBox 7, and with my virtual machine turned off, I'll go to Settings, and I'm going to enable an additional network cart. So I'm going to go to where it says Network, and you can see I've got my Enable Network Adapter. I'm going to go to Adapter number 2 and do the same thing. I'm going to choose the NAT option. Now you can see there's lots of different options in that dropdown, and I can add up to four different adapters if I'd like. But let's take a look at what some of these mean. So NAT means that this is going to be able to communicate with the other computers that are on your network, as well as be able to go out to the internet. If I hit the drop down, we have the bridged adapter. That's going to be a combination of both the other virtual machines as well as out to the internet. Now, the internal network, that one's a little bit different. That's if you enable internal network on multiple virtual machines, you're only going to be able to communicate with the other virtual machines that are set to the internal network. And that's perfect for a lab environment where you don't want an external DHCP server. You don't want the internet to get involved. You don't want any of that stuff. This is just an internal type of lab that's air gapped from everything else. So that's really a good way to go. Now you can see this name INT net for internal net. If you change this to be something else and you want to communicate with the other computers, that has to also be set to whatever it is you change it to. Otherwise, it will be considered a same sandbox in a completely separate location. So if you want to have multiple sandboxes that can't talk to each other, absolutely go in and make a change to the name of the internal network, and then it'll make it so you have separate sandboxes for each one that uses them. Now, the other option that you see here is advanced. So most of the time it detects the emulation for an Intel Pro 1000 desktop adapter. However, if you hit the drop down, you can see there are many different adapters here. So if for some reason, when you boot up your computer, you're not seeing the network adapter in your list of adapters, then come back in here and choose each one until you do. And I realize that sometimes it takes a while, especially if you have to restart every time. Uh, but uh, And I've had to go through this myself. It normally happens on some older computers or some really inexpensive computers that use a different type of network adapter that can't be emulated using the default Pro 1000. So I'm going to leave this one here because I already know that this works in my particular case. Another interesting thing is the MAC address. Now, you want to make sure that the MAC address on each individual network adapter is different. If they're the same, so this one ends in an 8C, this one ends in an A6, so we're fine. But if they're the same, it, it's the same thing as if it happens in a physical network. If you have two different network adapters have the same MAC address, then it'll cancel both of them out, and neither one of them will work. Also, make sure that this cable connects connected box is checked. If not, it'll show up in the operating system that the network adapter is there, but it's not connected to anything. It's just like if you unplugged an Ethernet cable. So now that I have that all set up the way I want, I'm going to choose internal network for adapter one and NAT for adapter two, although for testing purposes, it doesn't really matter. And I'll go ahead and click start. And I should now see two network adapters in my list of adapters. So let's just make sure. I'm logged in, I'm going to right click on my network and choose open network and internet settings. And then go to change adapter settings. And there are my two network interface cards. So now you know how to add and manage network interface cards in VirtualBox 7.